<laughs> oh, Jack. Oh, hi, everybody. Did you make it back home? I was just looking at some of my lovely, look at my birthday cards. Isn't this fun? Oh, boy. That was pretty amazing. It was the best Chris birthday, <laughs> almost said Christmas, the best birthday present I could ever have. Look at this. Look at this artwork. Isn't this wonderful? Look, here's a great big card. Happy birthday, Mr. Paul. And look at that picture. Oh, I love these. I love these. Looky. Looky. Dylan and Riley. All right. Oh, boy. Here's one. Look at this one. Look at that. A moon, a star, a heart. Looks like a cloud. Oh, and Brooklyn. I'm guessing maybe that was Sawyer, too, huh? Oh, boy. Oh, Ava, you and I are so very, very old friends. And, oh, look at your artwork. It's getting so good. Gosh, I've known you for a long time. What, maybe five years? Oh, look at this. Look at that. Looky, looky, looky. Thank you for all the laughs and music. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> Peanut butter and jelly! <laughs> oh, we love you, Mr. Bob. I want to thank you all for coming out this morning. That was the best, bestest birthday gift I could ever have. So now, are you ready to start? Because I am. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. We'll read big books and small books and short books and tall books. The more we read together, the happier. you bring some magic to put in the hat. Do you have some magic? Because my hat doesn't have anything in. It's time to put in some magic. You got some? Hi! Oh, Riley and Dylan, you're out there. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you made it back home. Do you have any more magic? Got some? Whoop, there we go. I'm going to take this piece of little magic and I'm going to put it in my ear like that and take it right out of my other ear and put it in the hat. Yeah! I'm going to take this magic, put it in the hat. I'll stir it all up. Say, And look at the pretty colors I have in here. Look, I have, yep, yellow. And I have, Orange, yep, and let's see what else we have in here. I've got red, and wait, 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 there's another one. I've got green, green, red, orange, and yellow. Oh, there's somebody else inside the hat. Wonder who it could be this week. Shall I give you some hints? Okay, this is an animal that lives where it's very, very cold and snowy. And it's a very big animal. And it's got sharp teeth. And it growls. And he lives up at the North Pole. Anybody know what he is? It's a polar bear. If you guess polar bear, you're right. Okay, Mr. Polar Bear, you just sit right there, because it's time to sing. I've been playing in the toy store all the live long day. 
I've been playing in the toy store just to pass the time away. Can't you hear the dollies crying? Oh, please, don't ever go home, Mr. Paul. Can't you see me cry? <laughs> and pout here, I don't want to go home. <laughs> Oh, I understand, I understand, I can play at home today. I understand, I understand, I can play at home. But, oh, 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 I can play all day. Oh, I can play all day. Hey, 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 I can play all day. Yeah, as long as I get to play. Yeah. Alrighty. Oh boy, I'm seeing some people here. Hi. Oh, hi Libby. Thomas? Oh boy, seeing a bunch of people here. Oh, Brooks and Meyer, you're out there. Oh, I'm so glad you're here today. I'm so glad you're here today. Let's see now. I think we ought to probably do bananas. You ready for the bananas? Bananas unite. Peel bananas. Bananas, peel, peel, bananas, peel, bananas, peel, peel, bananas, chop, bananas, chop, chop, bananas, chop, bananas, chop, chop, bananas, smush, bananas, mush, mush, bananas, smush, bananas, mush, mush, bananas, eat, bananas, eat, eat, bananas, eat, bananas, eat, bananas, go. marching song. Some of you were out there this morning and you did it with me already once, but let's do it again, okay? Alrighty. Remember how we start by marching. Marching to the beat and clapping with our hands with everyone we meet. Our legs like rubber bands and then we stop and freeze. Not moving anything. I hope I'm not about to sneeze. I want to dance and sing. So clap your hands, stomp your feet, turn yourself around, reach your hands up to the sky, and now let's touch the ground. Hold your head, hold your hips, give yourself a hug. Sit right down upon the ground, but watch out for the bugs! Whoa! Yeah! Alrighty. Oh, remember the dinosaur song? Ah, there's a big dinosaur walking down the street, singing dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. He's looking around for something good to eat, singing dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. He's big, he's big, he's strong, he's strong, won't be hungry very long. Dino diddy diddy dum diddy do, singing dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. There's a big dinosaur walking down the street, singing dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. He's looking around for something good to eat. Sing and I know diddy diddy dum diddy do. He's big, he's big, he's strong, he's strong. Won't be hungry very long. Ha, 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 ha. Oh boy, I love that song. Okay, now let's see. What should we do now? How about a story? Would you like a story? I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna read you a story today. This is a very old story, and it's a story called. Peter Rabbit. Maybe you know Peter Rabbit. Maybe you've seen, I know there was a movie about Peter Rabbit a while ago, but this is the original story and the original painting. And it's called Peter Rabbit. Now I know for those of you that can read, the words are backwards, but remember, I put this up on YouTube and they will come out correct. Once upon a time, there were four little rabbits, and their names were Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter. They lived with their mother in a sandbank 
underneath the root of a very big fir tree. Now, my dear, said old Mrs. Rabbit, one morning you may go into the fields or down the lane, but don't go into Mr. McGregor's garden. Now run along and don't get into mischief. I'm going out. Oh, look at Peter. He's not with the other three, is he? Oh, she's putting his tie on, fixing his collar, maybe. Oh, what happens? Well, Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail, who were good little bunnies, went down the lane to gather blackberries. But Peter, oh, he was very naughty. He ran straight to Mr. McGregor's garden and squeezed under the gate. Well, first he ate some lettuce and some French beans, and then he ate some radishes. Well, and then, feeling a little sick, he went to look for some parsley. Oh, but around the corner, who should he meet? <gasps> but Farmer, Farmer McGregor. Mr. McGregor was on his hands and knees planting young cabbages. But he jumped up and ran after Peter, waving a rake <gasps> and calling out, Stop! Thief! Oh, oh, oh. Well, Peter was dreadfully frightened. He rushed all over the garden, for he had forgotten the way back to the gate. He lost one of his shoes. <gasps> oh, no. Can you see his shoe sitting right there? Yeah, he lost one of them in the cabbages and the other one among the potatoes. Well, after losing them, he ran on four legs and went faster so that I think he might have got away altogether if he had not unfortunately run into a gooseberry net. Oh, and he got caught by the large buttons on his jacket. It was a blue jacket with brass buttons. Quite new. Peter thought he was lost, and he shed great big tears, but his sobs were overheard by some friendly sparrows who flew to him and told him to keep trying. Mr. McGregor came up with a basket, which he intended to pop on top of Peter. Mmm. Oh, but Peter wriggled out just in time, leaving his jacket behind him. Oh, he rushed into the tool shed and jumped into a can. It would have been a beautiful thing to hide in if it had not had so much water in it. Well, Mr. McGregor was quite sure that Peter was somewhere in the tool shed, perhaps hidden underneath a flower pot. He began to turn them over carefully and looking under each one. Well, pretty soon, Peter sneezed. <gasps> Hi! Chow! Mr. McGregor was after him in no time. Peter jumped out of a window, upsetting three plants. The window was too small for Mr. McGregor. Oh, and he was tired of running after Peter, so he went back to his work. Peter sat down to rest. <sighs> he was out of breath and trembling with fright and he had not the least idea which way to go. Also, he was very wet from sitting in that can. After a time, he began to wander about, going lippity-loppity, not very fast, and looking around. An old mass, mouse was running in and out over the stone doorstep carrying peas and beans to her family in the wood. Well, Peter asked her the way to the gate, but she had such a large pea in her mouth that she could not answer. She only shook her head at him. Peter began to cry. Well, then he tried to find his way straight across the garden, but he became more and more puzzled. Soon he came to a pond where Mr. McGregor filled his water cans. 
A white cat was staring at some goldfish. She sat very, very still. But now and then the tip of her tail twitched as if she were alive. Peter thought it best to go away without speaking to her. He had heard about cats from his cousin, little Benjamin Bunny. He went back towards the tool shed, but suddenly, quite close to him, he heard the noise of a hoe. Scratch, 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 scratch. Peter scuttered underneath the bushes, but since nothing happened, he came out and climbed up on a wheelbarrow and peeped over. Oh, the first thing he saw was Mr. McGregor hoeing onions. His back was turned towards Peter, and behind him was the gate. Peter got down very quietly off the wheelbarrow and started running as fast as he could go along a straight walk behind some black currant bushes. Mr. McGregor caught sight of him at the corner, but Peter did not care. He slipped underneath the gate and was sa safe at last in the wood outside the garden. Well, Mr. McGregor hung up the little jacket and the shoes for a scarecrow to flight frighten the blackbirds. Peter never stopped running or looked behind him till he got home to the big fir tree. Oh, he was so tired. He flopped down on the nice soft sand on the floor of the rabbit hole and shut his eyes. His mother was busy cooking. She wondered what he had done with his clothes. It was the second little jacket and pair of shoes that Peter had lost. Well, I'm sorry to say that Peter was not very well during the evening. His mother put him to bed and made him some chamomile tea, and she gave a dose of it to Peter. One tablespoonful to be taken at bedtime. But Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail had bread and milk and blackberries for supper. Did you like that story? I do. That's a fun, fun story. Now, let's see. What should we do next? I think... We ought to let Amanda the panda out. What do you think? Should we let Amanda out? Would you like to feed Amanda? I think we should. I think we should. Here's Amanda. Hi, Amanda. Hi, sweetie. Hi. How you doing? What? Oh, you're hungry. You're hungry. Okay. All right. Here, I'll hand you the bottle. I'll hand you the bottle. Yep, yep, just hold on to it. Yeah, we'll put it in her mouth. Put it in her mouth. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Good job. Oh, she's wiping her face off. Thank you for feeding Amanda. Amanda, you gonna wave goodbye? Hmm? You wanna blow them all a kiss? Oh, you do, don't you? <laughs> she loves you. Thank you. Thank you for feeding Panda. All right. Okay. Will you come back? You want to go back into the box? All right. All righty. All righty. Hey, let's icky sticky. Icky sticky, icky sticky, honey and jam, honey and jam. My hands stick to my hmm ears. Pull up, pull down, pull around and around all day until they finally pull. Let's do it again. Icky sticky, icky sticky, honey and jam, honey and jam. My hands stick to my what? Shoulder and elbow. That's hard. Pull up. Pull that, pull around and around all day until they finally pull. <laughs> all right, one more. Icky sticky, icky sticky, honey and jam, honey and jam. My hands stick to my 
my head and my belly. Okay. Pull up. Pull down. Pull around and around all day until they finally pull away. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ick. Well, you know what we need to do now? We need to wash our hands off. So we pretend there's a sink in front of us with a faucet and some soap. Turn on the water. Get your hands good and wet. Get some soap soot started. Good. Pumpy bottle. No? Okay. Put your hands together and then we'll let's sing. Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms, in between, in between. Uh, rub them all together, uh, rub them all together. Now we're clean, squeaky clean. No, oh, and if your hands are still a little wet, make sure you dry them right off. All right, you ready to make some noise? I think it's time for Joe. Let's let Joe out. Let's let Joe out. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. New things here, folks. Yeah. Okay, now we're ready. Now we're ready. Here, we'll put this down just a little bit. Yep. Okay. Behind the tree. And under the house, there lives a teeny, tiny mouse. She loves to sing. She loves to tap. But most of all, she loves to clap. She claps all night. She claps all day. She claps to frighten the cat away. Get away, scary cat. <laughs> Hi, my name is Joe. And I work in a rhythm factory. I feel the beat. It's so sweet. And one day my boss said to me, Are you busy, Joe? I said, No. He said, Stomp that rhythm with your feet and put on some bells. Oh boy, that'll make it fun. Oh boy. Yeah. Hi. My name is Joe. And I work in a rhythm factory. I feel the beat. It's so sweet. And one day my boss said to me, Are you busy, Joe? I said, No. He said, Bang these pot lids with your knees. Bang these pot lids with my knees. That's about the silliest thing I ever heard to do. But he said, if you please, bang them with your knees. <laughs> Hi, my name is Joe, and I work in a rhythm factory. I feel the beat, it's so sweet. And one day my boss said to me, are you busy, Joe? I said, no. He said, put on this hat. And I said, that's a weird hat. And he said, yeah, because it has a bunch of eggs on it. And each one of those eggs has beads inside. So put it on and shake your head like you're saying, Abracadabra. Okay. Woo, hi. My name is Joe. And I work in a rhythm factory. I feel the beat. It's so sweet. <laughs> and one day, my boss said to me, Are you busy, Joe? I said, No. He said, He said, Don't forget about your triangle. You remember the triangle? It's got three sides. One, two, three. And I've got something to bang it with. All right. My name is Joe, and I work in a rhythm factory. I feel the beat, it's so sweet. And one day, my boss said to me, Are you busy, Joe? I said, uh, <laughs> No? Well, he said, What you need to do now 
is to toot your horn and honk your nose. What? Uh -huh. <laughs> here we go. And the work. And the rhythm. Factory. I feel the heat. It's so sweet. And one day, my right, my boss <laughs> said to me, <laughs> Are you Mindy Joe? <laughs> and I said, Lots of noise, lots of noise, huh? Oh boy. Hey, I had a fun idea. I don't know if you guys watched my balloon of my video about putting things inside a balloon. Look at the scarves here. They're inside the balloon. Isn't that fun? I was wondering what would happen if I took this very sharp pin and popped it. What do you think will happen? Well, that was cool. Here's another one. Here's another one. Let's see this one. Woo! That was fun. Hey, guess what? There's something inside here. Can you see what it is? Maybe you can hear it. What do you think's gonna happen? I think this one's gonna be fun! Wow! Oh boy, I've got a big mess on the floor. There's all kinds of things sticking around. But that sure was fun. Oh, you know what? Last week I was asked to make some bubbles. So I'm going to do that today. There we go. There we go. Oh no, we'll just keep trying. You know how it is. You know how it is. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Let's see if we can get some inside. Nope. Oh. Try it again. Yeah. You know how it is. See, if it doesn't work the first time, you just gotta try it again. And it might not work today. We no, no, no. There we go. There we go. Oh, bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Hey, you guys know about the snake maker, right? Yeah, all right. You know about that. Have you gone on YouTube and learned how to make your own with a piece of, yeah, you know, bottle in, the, in a sock? Watch how big this gets. Whoa, big snakes, big snakes. What do you think? If I gave you one of those at the toy store, do you think you would like that? Think that would be fun to have a great big snake? All righty, let's see. What are we? Where are we going now? Oh, we're in good time. How about a magic trick? Let's do a magic trick. Let's do a magic trick. I'm gonna scoot up here so we can see the magic butterfly box. And this is the magic butterfly box, and you can see that inside I've got a magic butterfly. I got. Oh, you, can, you don't see them. That's because we haven't done the magic yet, right? All right. Butterfly, butterfly, what do you see? Butterfly, butterfly, play with me. And I reach inside and I pull out a pig with wings. <laughs> I've never seen a pig with wings, but maybe it knows how to fly. Can you fly? <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> All right. Open it up. Oh, oh, oh. See anything in there? No? All right. Magic. Butterfly, butterfly, what do you see? Butterfly, butterfly, play with me. And I open up the box 
and I reach inside and I pull out a raccoon. Raccoons don't even fly. So you just kind of walk right over there and let's go and see. Oh, nothing inside. All right, all right, let's close it up. Do a little more magic. Butterfly, butterfly, what do you see? Butterfly, butterfly, play with me. And I reach inside and I pull it out. Did you see that? A butterfly flew right out of my hand. Oh boy, there's some fun. All righty. Okay, pardon me. All right, let's see. How about five little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. And only four little ducks came back. One, two, three, four. Four little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. But only three little ducks came back. One, two, three. Three little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. Only two little ducks came back. One, two. Two little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. But only one little duck came back. One. One little duck went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. But no little ducks came back. went out one day not over the hill or far away mother duck said quack 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 <laughs> when all five little ducks came back one two a three four five ah, whack! <laughs> Oh, how you guys doing? Oh, thank you for all the wonderful birthday wishes. Libby and Thomas. Oh, oh boy. Oh, there's all kinds of people here. Daniel's here. Hi, Charlotte. Olivia. Oh, boy. Wes and Robin. I'm so glad you're here. Brandy. Hi from Maine. I'm glad you're here, too. I love all my kids. I'm just kind of looking back and making sure I get everybody. Now, if there's anything that you guys want me to do before I end, now's the time to ask. Because I'm getting ready to end, and I want to make sure we do everything. All right. On the day you came home, I felt my heart get a little bigger. On the day you came home, I felt it swell, swell, swell. On the day you came home, I felt my heart give a little giggle. And I knew it would be a better world. Oh boy, where's my fancy bow? Here it is. Here it is. It's been so nice to have this time together. Just to have a laugh and sing a song. Seems we just get started. And before you know it, comes the time we have to say so long. Oh, I've got one request to do make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I guess we better do that before we sing the real goodbye song, okay? We'll do that because you asked. That means we're going to need, we're going to need some bread. Here, let's move this down a little bit so you can see a little better. There we go. There we go. We need some bread. And there I've got 
some bread. And we'll put that in the magic bag. And we're going to need some peanut butter and jelly. Hang on just a moment and I will get that. Here's some peanut butter. Here's some jelly. And we need the covers. All righty. You ready? Some peanut butter. Peanut butter here. Jelly here. Cover up the peanut butter. Cover up the jelly. What's under here? Peanut butter. And under here is jelly. Peanut butter. Jelly. Peanut butter. Jelly. All right, let's do the magic. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Now over here we have peanut butter. And over here we have jelly. <laughs> let's do it again. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Peanut butter over here. Jelly over there. <laughs> Peanut, peanut butter, and peanut butter. Oh, oh, oh. Let's make them both jelly. <laughs> jelly, 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 and jelly. <gasps> jelly over here. Peanut butter over here. <laughs> oh, jelly over there. I don't know what I'm looking at, huh? <laughs> Sometimes I get so confused. All right. Let's make one of them peanut butter and the other one jelly. How about peanut butter over here, jelly over here. Peanut butter, jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Now we have peanut butter over here. Jelly over there. Let's see what happens to the bread. Let's see if my lunch is all made up. And look at that. It is peanut butter and jelly. Oh boy, I love my peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Don't you? I think peanut butter and jelly is like the best lunch ever. Alrighty, I will ask again, just in case you want to do something else. Alright, we got the peanut butter and jelly. We're good. We're good. Alright, I love you all and thank you again for that absolutely incredible birthday surprise this morning. I love seeing all of you. See you later, alligator, in a while, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, you big baboon, out the door, dinosaur. Toodaloo, kangaroo. Wave goodbye, butterfly. See you next time. I love y'all. And see ya, Mr. Paul's Place on YouTube. Bye-bye.